Hello, welcome. My name is Ben. In this tutorial, I am going to show you a trick to counter-attack some of the tricky questions where they ask for the um, shaded parts. Follow this principle. Look at the big picture. Don't fix your sight on the shaded parts because that is why the question is tricky because they are directing your focus on the shaded parts. But if you step out and look at the question, the figure, in a, another perspective, you'll be able to solve the question easily. And I'll show you how in the following questions. In this figure, okay, we are given, we are told of the, the length and the breadth, so to speak. If this 18 from A to D and from A to B is 18 centimeter, we know that this is a square of sight 18 centimeter and then we are asked to find the area of the shaded parts as well as I said just now if we keep looking at the, the four shaded parts we will not be able to solve this question and I can tell you that this question can be as little as two mark question when that happens your ability to look at the question in another perspective will help you solve the question easily. Take a look at this in the section of the diagonals. Okay, you see that? Maybe I will highlight it with color. This is from point to point. So this is the diagonal, another diagonal A to C. So at the intersection of these two diagonals, you will see that basically it cuts the square into equal parts, be it you want to have two or four. All right, so the other thing to take note of is that uh, this one would also match up to E. So DE will be equal to EC. All right, with that, well, there are a lot of ways to solve it. In this presentation, I'm going to show you two. So take a look at this triangle A, B, uh, the red line, or rather the red line triangle here. As well as I said just now, this is equal triangle with this yellow line triangle because basically it is cut into four parts now. So since they are identical, right, another triangle I want you to take a look at is A, B, E, the green line triangle. If you can see or identify these three triangles, you can actually solve it easily. So since just now I mentioned that the yellow and the red line triangle are the same, are identical, why not I replace the red line triangle with that of the yellow line? So, alright, see that? So what happened is that basically you can flip over the yellow line triangle onto the red. And with that, as well as I said just now, we have already identified A, triangle A, B, E. You will know how to solve the rest of the question. Because basically, area of shaded parts is equal to the area of triangle A, B, E less the two groups of 27. So you work out what is triangle A, B, E to be times the base, times the height of 18 centimeter respectively, you have 162. So your answer will be 108. Remember, in your answer, always indicate the units of measurement. So 108 centimeter square. Alternatively, you may want to look at this question from another perspective. As what I always say, group them together to form a bigger triangle so that you have measurements with regards to the base and a height and with that you have a formula as well as I said just now DE is equals to EC so divided by 2 DE is equals to 9 centimeter e, EC is also equals to 9 so take a look at this green triangle and take a look at this red triangle so basically again these two are identical so you just take away whatever the 27 centimeter square in the two tri triangles, you get the same answer. So this is another way to work out. So the same thing, green and the uh, red 
are identical with base 9cm and height 18 Okay, the shader parts are the same so you just take area of either triangle to to be half times base times height which is half times 9 times 18 equals to 81 and of course in order to find the shader parts in one of the triangles you need to take away 27 Okay, so this is the area of the shader parts remember I have two triangles of exactly the same so in order to, for, to, to find the four shader parts I need to multiply by another by another two so you get the same answer 108 so that's it of course you may have other ways of looking at it but this is the principle don't keep fixing your eyes on the shaded portion alone group it together with something else so that you form a bigger triangle that's it and have a nice day if you liked my videos please check out my other videos and subscribe and with that i thank you bye